Anyway. Right, here we go. Um, this is the preparation process to prep the new 14D12 sensors. Um, first of all, we key them down um, with a bit of scotch guard. I don't know what they call this my stuff. Is it scotch guard, Martin? Yeah, it's well, scotch. I can never remember the name. No, neither can I. But anyway, key them down so they've got uh, the paint's got something to adhere to. Um, this makes the paint stick to the uh, ultrasonic and the plastic much, much better. So as you can see, keying them down is a very important part of this uh, procedure. And make sure you don't take all the paint off so you go down to the bare plastic, otherwise you're in trouble. Yeah. Doesn't really need too much to be fair, especially with a fresh bit. Just so you can take the shine off really, that's the, the main goal. As you can see, shine on this one yeah. and this one. So these Number one, repeat the process with all four. That's enough. Again, the same again with the last one. It's easiest to keep the uh, clip on heads on whilst you do this bit, so easy to hold on to. But um, if you do have to do the uh, other degreed angles, you just hey, find a way. There's a Brian on the phone from that way. Should I get him to call you back if you're busy? Yeah. Hmm. So, they're looking good enough for me. All yep. four the same, keyed down. The same with the... Uh, well, what I would do, Martin, for now, I would just do the sensor heads. So that really yeah. what we're interested in mainly is... Uh, now, obviously, once the sensor heads are keyed down, the next important thing is to take them apart. So, remove the clip-on head. I'll show you this one. Just two simple clips, one either side. Easily be done, and then that just slides, slides off. off. Um, and then for the tray, obviously, you've got your two different size holes easily labelled as well. So they just clip in like that, just push one side in, and then the other follows. Do that with all four. Best to have the, uh, if you're painting angled degreed heads as well, best to have them facing you so that it's easier to get a nice paint finish to them as opposed to trying to catch the lip of it. As you can see that's deeper that side than it is that side. So, now for the ultrasonics, these are little rubber o-rings that were from Plumbing Centre. Um, just peel back the silicon from the sensor head and push the o-ring in helps if you do have some nail on your thumb all the way around so the idea of it is to keep the silicon away from the sensor head so that you get a finish around the whole of the ultrasonic as opposed to when you flick the paint off at the end there would be a, still a silver ring around the top of the ultrasonic because the paint wouldn't have been able to run down to get a nice clean finish. So again, they just drop in and the silicon holds the uh, ultrasonic head in place. So just do the same with all four. It takes a bit of getting used to, but... like that so you can see the silicon is away from the ultrasonic head and then just into the paint shape.
So as you can see, we're repeating the process for all four sensor heads or all eight, depending on how many you're painting. Um, and this is the most successful way to paint our, our existing 12, 14D 12 sensor heads. Very successful, paints very nicely and gives a very good finish. For the time that it takes, it's one million percent worth it. There we go, that's all four done and ready for painting. And there you go. Don't actually have some already done, don't we? You may have some we painted earlier. So when they're at this stage, they're all fully painted and these have been left overnight to dry. Um, you can actually clean them up maybe after an hour or two after painting, uh, but best to leave them, if you have the time, to leave them overnight. But to clean them up, as you can see, this isn't looking fantastic at the moment. But I just put a little slit in it with your nails and you can either just flick it all off like so to give the clean finish. I mean you can even easily get all of that off of there, be as rough as you like on the silicon because you're not going to be able to damage that. Use nails, use paint brushes sometimes, anything you want really, just make sure you don't damage the sensor. Uh, the only one thing you do need to watch out for is sometimes the paint will stick the ring to the head and if you pull it off too early you can peel the paint backwards on itself so I always push the ring down to break the seal all the way around the sensor head like so and then when you've done that all the way around because this paint's been broken you can then just pull him out and a final flick round you've got your clean sensor head obviously keep going around until you've got all the excess paint off that you don't need just to make it look really professional and you've got your final finish once you're at this stage on the back there is a up and an arrow which is quite hard to see but another way to tell is if you look at the side the top has got less silicon from here to here than at the bottom so that's how you know that where there's less it's the bottom of the sensor head which is important for how the clip on head clips on so take your clip on head out best way to put these on is one side push that into the silicon and then over so goes on like that one side and then the other and slides on and that you just clip on and that's pretty much your finished sensor head we do tend to get a paintbrush and just flick the little bits of uh, paint off afterwards as well and then obviously give it a clean up until you're fully satisfied and there you go, that's our painting process.